We do not talk about them as much for a few reasons, but mostly because of the way we diagnose people is a little bit biased. But we've got dyscalculia. It's like the flexor of the maths world, but it's not about being bad at maths. It's about how the brain processes numbers. So you might be really good at maths, but really struggle to show your workings out. Or you might have great workings out, but still end up with the wrong answer. It can also affect time blindness, how you appreciate the uh, passing of time. It can mean that when you are gauging measurements, you might be way off. Apparently, Albert Einstein had dyscalculia. In fairness, they say he had everything, but it still gives you an idea how you could be really good at something, but still have one of these neurodevelopmental conditions. Moving nicely on to dysgraphia. Dysgraphia is like dyslexia's twin. It's is its own separate condition. You can have one and not have the other. Dyslexia is mostly around reading. Dysgraphia is mostly around writing or how you hold things. If you hold really awkwardly, you struggle with motion and grip, your handwriting just doesn't match up with your overall intelligence. That is a classic sign 